Welcome back. If you've been casually scrolling through the noise of crypto chatter, this might be the one moment you don't want to ignore. Something massive is happening right now, something that could rival Bitcoin's earliest breakout days. A single project has just proven it can process transactions at speeds that leave Ethereum, Solana, and BNB stumbling far behind. We're talking over a thousand transactions per second, a record that smashes through the competition. That project is none other than Internet Computer Protocol, better known as ICP, the so-called world computer. This video is for informational and educational purposes only. It is not financial advice. Always do your own research and consult a professional before making any investment decisions. And here's the kicker. It's not only about speed. It's about rewriting how the internet itself works, building on an unshakable, decentralized foundation designed for the future. If you're sick of outrageous gas fees, apps crashing under traffic, and blockchains pretending they're fast while freezing at scale, then buckle up. ICP just pulled off a breakthrough that could change the entire Web3 landscape. Today, we're going deep into what makes ICP so unique, why this milestone is different from hype cycles of the past, and why it might be your biggest wake-up call in crypto right now. To really understand why this matters, let's take a step back. Picture the year 2021. Crypto markets were buzzing, doge pumps, meme mania, and everyone chasing the next shiny token. But beneath that noise, a different kind of movement was happening. A small but brilliant group of engineers and cryptographers were quietly building something far more ambitious than yet another speculative coin. Fast forward to September 2025, and their work speaks for itself. Official chain data revealed ICP sustaining speeds of 1,076 transactions per second, with block times averaging just 0.48 seconds. That's faster than refreshing your social feed. And here's the wild part. This isn't a testnet stunt or a lab demo. These are live metrics powering real-world decentralized apps. Now, why does this stand out? Because we've seen projects brag about speed before. Solana, for example, made headlines with its TPS, but let's not forget the outages that have plagued its chain, costing users and projects millions. ICP, by contrast, is clocking performance 80% faster than Solana without the same history of breakdowns. Compared to Binance Smart Chain, ICP runs over five times quicker. And against Ethereum, forget it, ICP is literally 50 times faster. So what makes ICP different from the old players? Traditional blockchains are like congested highways, narrow lanes, constant traffic jams, toll booths at every turn. It's no surprise transactions are slow, expensive, and often unreliable. ICP flips that model completely. Instead of clunky architecture, it uses something called canisters, self-scaling smart contracts that work like decentralized apps, but without the bottlenecks. Imagine streaming an entire Netflix series with zero buffering. That's the kind of performance ICP aims to deliver for decentralized applications. This is why people call it the world computer. It's the first blockchain that operates like a true internet scale network. And the core innovation that makes this possible is chain key cryptography. The name sounds technical, but here's the simple version. It allows ICP to upgrade itself without forks, integrate directly with the web without middlemen, and scale seamlessly while staying decentralized. That's a rare trifecta, speed, scalability, and security without compromises. Think about uploading your entire photo library on chain. On most blockchains, the cost would be absurd, if not impossible. But with ICP's reverse gas model, users don't pay fees at every step. Instead, developers cover the hosting costs, which are dramatically cheaper than centralized cloud services like AWS. The result? Everyday users get the benefits of decentralization without paying through the nose for it. And this isn't theoretical. ICP already powers decentralized social platforms, DeFi protocols, and even AI integrations. There's talk of a WhatsApp killer running directly on ICP. No central servers to hack, no corporations mining your data, no bots spamming your inbox, just peer-to-peer -peer encrypted communication that you own. In a world where data breaches are practically weekly headlines, that matters. The promise isn't just speed, it's trust. A system where users own their information, where apps can't be taken down by corporate giants, and where performance matches or beats Web2 services. 
That's a vision powerful enough to attract serious attention from both retail investors and institutions. And when Wall Street finally realizes ICP can compete with cloud providers like Amazon, the implications are staggering. Now let's talk about what's next. Dominic Williams, ICP's founder, has already teased another major breakthrough, blob storage technology. This upgrade will slash storage costs to around 2.5 cents per gigabyte per year. Put that into perspective. On-chain video hosting, gaming assets, AI datasets all suddenly become viable at scale. That's a leap no other blockchain has pulled off. And we're not talking small scale here. With consensus mechanisms that confirm in fractions of a second, ICP is preparing for exabyte level capacity. That means handling massive data sets in real time, something even today's most advanced blockchains can't touch. This is alien level tech by blockchain standards. For everyday users, it's like upgrading from dial-up internet to fiber optics overnight. For developers, it's a playground where apps can scale like never before. And for investors, it's a sign that ICP could capture not just a slice of the Web3 market, but entire industries migrating off centralized servers. Let's put it in relatable terms. Ethereum is like a trusty old pickup truck. It'll get you where you need to go, but you'll burn a ton of gas along the way. Solana? That's your flashy sports car. Fast and smooth, but unreliable when the weather turns bad. ICP, on the other hand, is the hyper-automated supercar of blockchains. It drives itself, adapts to traffic, and scales with you, all while being cheaper to maintain. And it's not just hype. ICP's dev team at Dfinity consists of some of the best cryptographers in the world, publishing peer-reviewed research thicker than encyclopedias. Their system supports canisters handling hundreds of gigabytes, running platforms like DSCVR, a decentralized Reddit, or InfinitySwap, a DeFi hub with seamless asset trading. It's proof that ICP isn't just a concept. It's alive and functioning at scale today. So why act now? Because timing matters. With these speeds already live and blob storage rolling out, ICP is positioned for adoption spikes. On top of that, AI-driven apps are preparing to launch in October, which could accelerate adoption in ways we haven't seen since Ethereum's DeFi summer. Looking ahead into 2026, the AI productivity boom is expected to collide with blockchain technology, and ICP is building the foundation to host it all. Miss this wave, and you risk being the person who skipped Bitcoin when it was just a dollar, ten dollars, or even a hundred. The opportunity window is still open, but it won't stay that way forever. So, what can you do? Step one, set up an ICP wallet like Plug or Stoic. Test the waters with a small amount, maybe 0.1 ICP, just to get comfortable. Step two, explore the ecosystem. Try out DeFi apps, experiment with staking, and get a feel for the technology. Step three, think about allocation. Don't go all in, but consider dedicating five to 10% of your portfolio to a project that has the potential to reshape Web3 entirely. Track the metrics, watch the blockchain spec dashboards, pay attention to TPS surges. The signs of growth are all there. You just need to decide if you're ready to act. ICP isn't just another blockchain bragging about transactions per second. It's a fully decentralized world computer, blending Web3 ideals with Web2 performance. It's faster than Ethereum by 50x, more reliable than Solana, cheaper than AWS, and designed with cryptographic foundations strong enough to carry the next generation of the internet. With upgrades like blob storage, reverse gas fees, chain key cryptography, and live adoption across DeFi, social, and AI, ICP is positioning itself as the backbone of a new digital era. If you're tired of outdated chains, expensive gas, and constant outages, then consider this your signal. The shift is happening in real time, and those who ignore it may look back with regret. The internet computer isn't just keeping up, it's leading the way into a decentralized future. So, what do you think about ICP's current position? Are you bullish on its growth in AI and DeFi? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. If you found value in this deep dive, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more breakdowns like this. Thanks for watching. Stay curious, stay cautious, and I'll catch you in the next one.